Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I'll be creating resin ocean art and I'm making island using modeling paste so it's kind of first for me. I'm still new to the modeling paste and I'm just experimenting with it. Uh, I was curious about it so I bought it and now I'm experimenting with it and seeing what kind of uh, things I can achieve uh, that will serve personally me. So here I have my 30 uh, centimeter MDF board and I'm just going bit around and creating texture in the sea. And after that, I'm going in and making the island. So I was craving a warm tropical seas and tropical islands. So this was the inspiration for my today's piece. And I just go in and out with my uh, spatula and just trying to create a smooth looking island. And after I will let it dry. And because the modeling paste is so thick, it did dry in about 2-3 days. Usually it dries in about 24 hours. And here it is all dry and I'm going in with uh, just PVA glue and I'll be applying sand to make the island looking more realistic. So I have here a white silica sand that I bought a bulk of 25 kilograms so I have a lot of it and as it is a bit too white I'll be painting it later on. And also I start to paint little detail in my textured sea and then I'll wait that it dries and after when it dry I gonna paint the sea bed on as well.
as I say in every video in this video it's not gonna be exemption uh, this is absolute my favorite part where I paint the seabed I can see the piece coming to life and uh, it represents like halfway through so all my paints have dried and now I'm going in with first layer of resin and uh, today I'm using uh, Art Pro Resin Deluxe Art Pro Resin and it is really really thick and so far I enjoy working with it very much As it is beginning of November, I find that my studio is getting colder and therefore resin is a bit more stiffer as well, if I can say that. And because also it's thick resin, it does make quite a lot of bubbles. So I like to, uh, after straight pouring it, just let it to sit for... 10-15 minutes so all the bubbles are surfaced and then I come back and pop it um, and I find that it works really well for me. So this is the next step I'm applying the C T 
texture, see surface and here I have a mix together with white spirit and clear fix and uh, combining these two ingredients it makes this kind of jelly like material which uh, works well to make a sea water so I will do it twice this first layer is just the base layer that creates kind of illusion of the water and uh, the next layer I will go in and I will create more waves and then I will paint them uh, with, uh, with white and then it's gonna be finish the work. So here I'm just uh, going around the island and also going in with my hands. You do wanna wear gloves working with this material for sure. And here it is my finish result. Uh, this is after the second layer. And this is how my waves looking. And I think it came out really nice and cute. I definitely would like to go and stay there for a week or two. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye, keep creating, bye!